as we get ready to wrap up another school year, many parents are getting ready to transition their children from middle to high school. And it can also be tough deciding whether your child should go to a private school or a public school. Now, things like one-on-one -on -one attention and college readiness programs are certainly aspects all parents need to consider, and those aspects can be found at St. Thomas More Academy in Magnolia. Delmarva Life Sydney Whitfield visited the school to see what really makes it stand out from other local high schools. When choosing the perfect private school for your child, there are many factors to consider. But the faculty at St. Thomas More Academy in Magnolia say they understand what it takes to ensure academic achievement for their students. Now I'm here at St. Thomas More Academy with Dr. Judy Caulfield and Principal Rachel Casey. Ladies, thanks for being with me today. Thank, Thank you. you. Absolutely. So let's talk about private school and what parents are looking for when they choose a private school. So private schools are predominantly chosen by parents because they're looking for something very specific in their mission. They're looking for the right fit for their child, for their goals and their aspirations, for their current needs. Some schools focus on special needs, some schools focus on vocational aspects. At St. Thomas More, we're really college focused and faith focused. Awesome, and Principal Rachel Casey, why would someone choose St. Thomas More over another private school? So I think that that goes straight to the mission of our school, which has been the same since we opened our doors 20 years ago, and that's to make faith the center of our experience here. Um, students that choose St. Thomas More and their families choose it because it provides a student with a well-rounded approach to what a high school education is. Um, we're a Catholic institution, that's certainly at our core, but we're not an exclusive community. Um, to open our doors to students who respect and revere faith as part of their experience on a day-to-day -day at a high school is what we seek to do. Um, and speaking of your students, let's talk about the success because I know that you've had a lot of successful students here in the past. We're really proud of our kids um, and that's not something that's new. Uh, it's come naturally each year. Our kids stand out among their peers and it's for um, a lot of reasons they're engaged in so much. They're not just one thing. Um, they're really well-rounded people and that's proven, I think, through some of the college scholarships that they've been awarded um, consistently. So we'll happily announce the scholarship figures for our class of 2018 in just a few days at our commencement ceremony. But last year, the class of 2017 was 47 students and they were offered over $7 million in scholarships. And again, that's not an outlier. The class of 2016, with two fewer students, uh, was offered $6.8 million in scholarships. So the colleges and universities that they're seeking to attend really recognize um, their special qualities. And I think that that's attributed to exactly where they are and who they get to be as they experience St. Thomas More. Some St. Thomas More students say they've experienced lots of personal growth through individualized recreational programs and clubs. Now I'm here in the Media Center with Zach and Nick. Zach, you're a junior, and Nick, you're a freshman. Nick, I know you've been involved in a lot of activities here at St. Thomas More, so tell me about that experience. Well, the school size is the main reason I'm able to participate in all these opportunities. For example, the sports program, we, have a no, we run a no-cut policy, so you're able to participate in many sports you wouldn't be able to in many other public schools. Okay, great. So you have a lot of opportunity to grow and learn. Yes. Awesome. And Zach, I know college prep is becoming something that you're thinking about a lot. So tell me about that experience here. The one great thing about St. Thomas More is all the honors and AP classes that we have that prepare us for college. And also St. Thomas More has given me the opportunity that this summer I'll be going to Boy State and a summer scholars program at Notre Dame. Oh, wow. Okay. And I know leadership is also something that it's, it's really helping you grow into, mm -hmm. right? Uh, I am the president of Ambassadors and in and Chess, and it's given me the opportunity to grow in my leadership skills. And many students feel like spiritual leadership and fellowship has made for an even better environment to learn. So right now I'm in the chapel with Logan and Bea. Logan, you are a junior and Bea, you're a freshman. And Logan, I know that uh, spirituality and faith has been a really big part of your experience here. Tell me about that. I just think it's so special how we are so connected to our Catholic identity. We're a Catholic high school in the Diocese of Wilmington, but not all of our students are Catholic, but yet we all share the same values. And my favorite part is when we come together as a community every Friday for Mass. Oh, that's amazing. And, and Bea, you just transitioned here from middle school. Tell me how that transition has been. 
Yeah, the change has been really easy for me. I get a lot of one-on-one -on -one attention with teachers, so I feel very comfortable and valued here. Yeah, and it might be easier to transition here as opposed to maybe a public high school, you'd think? Yeah, I can really tell how much I matter here, and I'm not just one person out of a thousand in the public school. And it's the individualized attention that many parents look for when choosing the best school for their kids, that which can be found at St. Thomas More Academy. And Principal Rachel Casey says 70% of the faculty and staff at St. Thomas More were either graduates themselves or have sent their children or grandchildren to St. Thomas More in Magnolia. I know, I've been there myself. It's yeah. a great school. What a wonderful looking place. Yeah, it is. Man, oh man. Okay.